Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solutions. Here I'm covering 1.J, which is vertical motion. Here's the scenario. A rocket fires its engine to launch straight up from rest with an upward acceleration of 5 meters per second squared for 10 seconds. After this time, the engine shuts off and the rocket freely falls straight down back to Earth's surface. So, in using this representation, sketch a graph of the acceleration as a function of time from t equals to 0 to t equals to 10 seconds. Okay, we have to read the scenario very carefully and understand that it says from the first 10 seconds, it has an upwards acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. Okay, the acceleration doesn't change, it's constant. So, it's a constant acceleration. Okay, this is its. Um, net. If you want to think about this, if you already covered forces, think about this as the A of the system. Okay, uh, it's, as the sum of all the forces, the acceleration um, for the system would be a positive 5 meters per second squared. Okay, so from start, it goes all the way up to 5 meters per second. So here, we can start here at 5 meters per second. Um, oh, I did it. So, like, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this should be down here. My bad. This should be, like, down here. Okay, this should be at five meters per second. Okay, so this is wrong. Sorry about that. I think I screwed up the animation, right? This should be something like this. And here, it stops. Please understand, this stops. Okay, it's not an arrow. If you draw an arrow, that means it goes on forever. Okay? So it stops here. This is its acceleration. Right? Now you're going to sketch a graph of the velocity as a function of t equals to 10 seconds. So now we should understand the motion graph. Right? If we know that the acceleration and time is um, constant or zero, there's no slope here, we know that its velocity here versus time graph is positive. Right, and because this is a positive value here, right? So this is positive. Just I'm gonna just throw it out here. It's um, its direction or its displacement graph would now be a uh, curve. Okay. All right. This is a linear line. This is a flat line. Okay. So here we know it goes from zero all the way up here. So we know it goes from zero and it goes up. So please understand that the slope here, right, the slope at each point, okay, because again, this is constant. So the slope here, right, is, equal, is basically the acceleration of 5 meters per second, okay, 5 meters per second. Okay, and uh, that's your velocities right there. Okay, that's why it's constant. All right. Now, from the graph in part B, determine the velocity of the rocket after 10 seconds of the interval. The velocity of the rocket at the end of 10 seconds is what? Okay, so if you take a look at the graph, okay, we can see that. It ended at roughly 10, uh, I kind of, uh, I kind of did this a little bit wrong, so let me just do it in a table, okay? So this is its time, and this is, let's say, its velocity, okay? So at time zero, its velocity is zero, okay? At time one second, it is five, because again, it's five meters per second, okay? So time is, this is in seconds, and this is in meters, all right? So 2 is 10, 3 is 15. You could see what I'm doing here, right? 25, okay, so on, so on, so on, so on. 10 would be 50, okay? This makes more sense, okay? The, the, di uh, the visual graph was a little bit off, but here's a chart, okay? So we know that this should be... 50 meters per second squared, okay? Now, from the diagram in part B, determine the height, okay? We want to know the height. So here's the question. So 
how do we go from here to here? Okay, how do we go from velocity? How do we go from velocity into the height? Okay, we do this by taking the what? Area under the curve. All right, so in theory, it's supposed to look like this. Okay, I have the graph a little bit off. At here this is zero this is 10 seconds and we know that this is uh, 50 and we know it should look something like this okay this is what shape a triangle okay and we want to know this area so the area air a e, area of a triangle is defined as one half base times height. The base here is 10. The height here is 50. So just plug it in. Area equals 1 half base times height. Okay, that should get you your answer. Let's check the calculator. And it should be 250. And again, what is the measurement? It is meters because again, if you take a look here, it's meters per second. Okay. Did I do it right? Yeah, 250 meters per second. Good. Okay. Now here it says um, making a claim about the numerical value of deceleration at after 10.1 uh, um, after it fires the rocket. The acceleration of the rocket at 10.1 meters per second after launch is what? Please understand that at 9.8, sorry, at 9.99 uh, .99 seconds. Okay, the acceleration was positive 5 point meters per second because this is through to the engine. If there's no engine at 10.1 right, seconds, okay, the acceleration is due to what? Gravity, which is going to be 9.8 or you can use 10. And it is downward, so you have to use a negative here. Meters per second squared, meters per second squared, okay? So, using your definition of freefall to explain your reason for your claim in part E. So, um, I would say that the acceleration of the rocket at 10.1 seconds after it was launched is 9.8 meters per second downwards. Okay, an object on Earth will always experience a 9.8 meters per second squared force interaction between itself and Earth. Okay, at 10.1 seconds, there was no more acceleration going upwards. There was no engine thrust. The net force now only had the force of gravity, which is between the object and the Earth. So the acceleration that is caused is due to the pulling of the Earth on the rocket, which is a acceleration of 9.8 meters per second downward. Okay, here I'm just giving you a complete answer using the force. All right, all right, next um, 10.1 seconds after the rocket was launched, indicate whether the rocket was moving up or down. Here, my answer was actually upwards. The reason why I put up upwards is because this during the first 10 seconds, the net force of the system of the acceleration was 10 meters per second squared. That was right. It was going up at 5 meters per second squared. It was going up. Okay. Now, the scenario says after this time, the engine shuts off. Right? So, the in so here's the rocket. Okay. And the... Um, and then there it's going to experience an acceleration down at 9.8 meters per second squared. But where's the object moving, though? The scenario said after the time the engine shuts off, during the time the rocket is still moving upwards with a velocity, but that velocity was decreasing over time because there was no more acceleration produced by the engine. Okay, So therefore, at 10.1, the rocket movement is still upwards because it still had um, the... Th um, the because the net force, uh, be the net force was downwards, but the object was still moving up forwards. Okay. So the way it works is like the object shoots up, 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 
then it slows slows down slows down here this is when velocity equals to zero then it comes back down but here this is when the acceleration is right here let's say before right before the acceleration was five meters per second here the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second downwards do you see why it starts to fall that's the reason why before it was five meters per second that's why it kept going up constantly but the re but now it starts curving and falling back down is because there's a force within acceleration of negative 9.8 pointing downwards that's the reason it causes it to go down okay all right so there you go that's all your solution for one point j